We go to chapter 17, business, interpretation of financial statements. When we talk about financial statements, we're talking about a document that helps the business to record its financial transactions. So it means a business has done transactions with different suppliers, different, or different customers. All these things, a business needs to keep track of those things. So to keep track of them, it needs a financial statement. That's why a financial statement is a record of all the business transactions. I think the financial statement is clear. Stop that and focus here. So we go. Financial statements. All companies are required by law to produce a financial statement at the end of the financial year. Although many public limited companies produce them on a quarterly basis. According to the International Accounting Standard, IASS, the body is only for developing and approving international financial reporting standards. The following statements are required. So, in the course of producing your financial statement, these are things you have to provide according to law. A statement of financial position, which is the balance sheet. And what does the balance sheet involve? The items in the balance sheets are the assets, liabilities, and the capital of the business. Can you just stop that already? A statement of compensating income. This is for, this, uh, for the profit and loss. The items in here are your income and expenditures. What, if, what comes into the business and what goes out of the business are recorded in the statement of compensating income. Here, it's talking about the assets, liabilities, and capital of the business. That's how big or small the business is. And here, it's talking about the transactions of the business in terms of what comes in and what goes out of the business. Then for sole traders, since sole traders and partners also produce financial statements, they are usually less complex than those of companies and they presented in a slightly different style. However, the majority of small businesses produce a balance sheet and the profit or loss accounts, which is the same as income statements. The focus here is that we have, every business needs to provide a statement of profit or loss and compensate income. But for partnership and sole trader, they do not have to present it to the government. That's even between a limited company and a limited liability company. <coughs> for sole traders and partners, they are on limited liability. As a result of that, they do not have to present a statement of profit or loss and other um, compensative income and a statement of financial position to the government because they don't pay corporation tax, they pay income tax. Please get the difference between a company and a sole trader partnership. Sole trader and partnership pays the same ta tax as individuals pay. But for companies, they pay corporation tax. I think the point is clear. So the statement of comprehensive income, these are the items <coughs> in the statement of comprehensive income. We have revenue. For revenue, we simply talking about the money made by the business in the course of selling. That is revenue. Do we understand revenue? Yes. These are the key information we need in the statement of comprehensive income. Are you guys with me? Yes, yes. sir. For revenue, these are the receipts of what we sell as a business, revenue. Cost of sales, these are the amount of money we spend to ensure that the product is made available. Cost of sale. Do we understand cost of sale here? Yes. So, cost of sale, revenue minus cost of sale, gives us our gross profit. So, gross profit is? We like this. And yeah, we did. Gross profit. From uh, last time. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Revenue. Minus sales. Cost of sales. That's how we get our gross profit. I think it's clear, right? Yes. For selling expenses, we said the business is likely to have a need of expenses from the selling of its products. For selling expenses, whatever you whatever you spend as a business to ensure that you are able to sell the product a part of your selling expenses, it has to be taken away from your gross profit because it's an expenditure. Like advertisement. Yes, advertisement. 